This one is a mellow cactus, and look at that color. Ugh, it's turning white. So that is sun stress. It was yellow, and now it was slowly turning white. Sunburn, sun stressed. This one is cold stressed. Cold stress. That is sunburn. Sun stressed. And this one is dead. Good day everyone! Welcome to Cactus Caffeine. If you are new here, my name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants in a desert environment over a cup of coffee. So, good morning! Good winter, sunny but cold morning to everyone <laughs> from Las Vegas. So, I'm here out in my backyard and I am doing some inspection. So, just um, taking a look at how they're doing. So, this is one section in my backyard. These are my hardy cacti. So, they are overwintering outside here. Unprotected for now. But I do put a shade cloth not a shade cloth sorry a freeze protection blanket on top of this rack when we get freezing temperatures at night for the past two weeks this has been completely open because our weather was had been good the past two say two two and a half weeks we haven't had any freezing temperatures so they've been out here unprotected for over two weeks now However, I notice that if you look at the sun, um, I have a shade cloth here on top. This is a 50% shade cloth that I put up last summer and I did not anymore put it down this winter because I noticed that um, during winter, although it is cold, the sun somehow I think is more intense. <laughs> it is more intense and that some of my cacti are so showing some signs of burning. And if you notice the sun, it's um during winter it shines at a certain angle such that um my shade cloth on top does not actually protect them um all throughout the day there's a certain time of the day when the sun is at this angle and it hits it like almost completely sideways and they are exposed to full sun so right now you see this side here is exposed to full sun so some of them have been showing signs of burning this is a clearly sign of burn because it was actually for the two week time it was that way so the sun was hitting this part so it scorched this part and then as you can see the other side is not so clearly that is sunburn so every now and then I well not for this I fail to do it but I would rotate the pots because uh, they would show signs of uh, sun stress like this one I tuck this back there because it is starting to turn yellow and um, this section, although it is uh, under 50% shade cloth, I feel like the UV rays are stronger <laughs> this winter. And it is, see, it has turned yellow as well. If it is summer, since they are actively growing during the summer, they can handle the sun. But right now, they are dormant. It is winter, they are dormant. So they're actually sleeping and if they get hit by a strong or intense sun like this they are not able to you know handle it they're not able to recover right away so they show some yellowing so hopefully this will recover i tucked it back in there to give it some more protection so hopefully that will recover i am here now inside my greenhouse and i noticed also some of them are showing signs of yellowing which is due to the intense sunlight that they are receiving that is why i decided to put up here against the door a 50 percent 
shade cloth because when I have the door open for ventilation in the morning, this section here gets hit direct with direct sun. So that is why a lot of my cacti, I moved things around already. The ones that were here showed uh, more signs of yellowing or sun stress. So as so you can see here, down here, this is one of them. See that one got hit by the sun too much. This one too, this purple gymno Mihanovicii Friedrichii. <laughs> what a tongue twister. So see this uh, light light uh, like white or light purple side that's from the sun but if i turn it around so you can see that should be how it looks it's a dark purple that's a nice gymno collision. it stays dark purple all year round so that is the normal color of it so the other side is sun stress but hopefully it will recover it is not severe and here is another one here this one is both sun and cold stress <laughs> that's an echinopsis for some reason my other echinopsis are very hardy but this one to be seem to be a little sensitive i don't have an id for this but it produces an orange echinopsis flower so our winter weather here in las vegas is very confusing <laughs> it is difficult it is a night and day if you can say it that way our morning is uh, spring and summer and then nighttime it's winter so it's like having two or three seasons in one day in 24 hours in the morning our temperatures would be in the low 60s 60 degrees fahrenheit and we would get a lot of sunlight here in my greenhouse, it would even heat up 5 to 10 degrees more. So it is very warm. And then at nighttime, our temperatures would drop in the 30s, sometimes even at freezing temperatures. So it is really very difficult to keep all my plants in um, rather constant condition because it's really a big change. The morning and the night uh, weather conditions are completely different. Our humidity is something that is constant. It is constant at more or less 30%. It is always low. It is always very dry. In fact, we haven't had any monsoon rain yet this year. Usually we get it during winter, but none yet this year. We've only had a few sprinkles or a few showers, um, light sprinkles, but we haven't had that heavy monsoon rain yet. And I am waiting for it and hoping that it would come and then like i told you in my previous videos what i've been doing is i've been giving my cacti a little bit of or a little sip of water every now and then when i see them uh, shriveling up too much so i give them a little sip of water just to prevent their roots from getting desiccated and to prevent them from suffering root loss it is a uh, it is difficult to tell which one needs water and which one doesn't because I don't want to disturb those that are completely dormant by giving it water. However, if you can see, I have a few that are starting to form buds. And this one too, an areosis also has uh, buds on top of it. So some of them are... I would say starting to wake up or now actively growing but a lot of them are still dormant so it is very hard to determine which is which this one is um a casualty well my first casualty this winter this is a rooted copiapoa cutting and this one i don't think it suffered root rot but rather, I think the roots got desiccated because it just slowly shriveled up until it got very, very hard. If I feel it, it got hard. So it like got petrified. <laughs> I think it's dead now. Yeah, this one is a gunner. So that is my first and hopefully my only casualty this winter time. And then in my backyard, I have this section here. Now this desert garden of mine really gets a lot of sunlight whatever season it is of the year so whether it is summer or winter it gets a lot of sunlight and during the summer i had um, shade cloth protecting this on top of 50 percent shade cloth but 
when fall started i took it down so until now it doesn't have the shade cloth on top of it and most of them are doing very well as you can see they um doing good they're shriveled because it's winter but at least they are not showing any signs of burning yet <laughs> although this one this is a um, peanut cactus it is yellow so yellow is showing a uh, sun stress but i think it will be fine because it has been out here all throughout winter since last year so it is not its first winter outdoors <laughs> however i have this golden barrel here this one is suffering from sunburn <laughs> let me take off the shade cloth so as you can see it is yellow and it has scorch marks now on the side that is why i decided to put a shade cloth on top of this it has only been under this shade cloth for I'd say three days so hopefully it will recover and start turning green again although golden barrels are very tough this one is still young so I think that's why it's uh, having a hard time you know fighting the cold and the severe sun that we have in the morning or the intense sunlight that we have in the morning so I'm giving it extra protection Another area in my backyard with cactus planted in the ground is this section here. So this also gets a lot of sunlight all throughout the day. Right now it's still early in the morning so it's still partially shaded by this um, pomegranate tree. But later on when the sun moves, this will be in complete full sun. And then um, this one right here, these are opuntias. So... Opuntia aurea, they're purple, so that is cold stress, but um, that's fine. They are hardy, but look at this one. These are my Opuntia piña colada. These are very cold hardy. They can even withstand snow. If you watch the video of Clyde Morris uh, of Morris Park in the Ozarks, I gave him some of these, and his right now is covered with snow and it is still doing fine so i know this is very cold hardy however if you look at the top pads they are turning yellow yellow means sun stress or sunburn so like i said purple is cold stress but yellow is more of sun sun damage or sunburn I would like to end my video by showing you my aloe collection so this is the perfect time to look at them because of the colors the color change that they experience due to the cold weather it is it just makes them so beautiful well these are not all of my aloes some of them are still in the garage i kept them in there the ones that are green um i kept them in there because the green aloes i don't like the stress color of them because they turn brown and they look like they're dead um so i keep them there i try to keep them you know still green but these are the ones that change their colors due to cold temperatures this is a aloe christmas sleigh so this is not yet stressed to my liking this is how i want it to look like so purple and red this is still a little bit green but it's getting there and this these two are my showstoppers this is aloe firecracker aloe oik just look at that vibrant red color and also this one this is aloe christmas sleigh so this was given to me by bamboo tom so tom thank you so much for this christmas sleigh it is so beautiful if you have a sleigh you must have a carol or if you have a carol you must have a sleigh guys that's a pair that's a given pair <laughs> and then um down here uh oh this is an aloe castellonia hybrid so it is very tough it's been out here all winter it's getting big i think this will be a big aloe and oh oh i found a new aloe i haven't shown you this guys yet this i got this from lowe's it's an aloe crimson dragon online when i look at the picture this one looks fiery red orange but in lowe's it was tucked in underneath the racks so it wasn't getting enough sunlight so the colors are not as vibrant yet this is an aloe key line 
my other key lime aloe suffered from uh, mites mite damage so i treated it and it's in my front porch for now isolated hopefully it will recover but i found another one this is another aloe key lime all right so that is it for my video here guys so let me know how is your winter if you're experiencing winter in your location how is your winter right now and i wish you guys lots of warmth lots of sunshine until my next video bye everyone and cheers